Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Berra Moretti. Grani Antichi. Uh, 8% and uh, funnily enough, it's not a lager. It's actually an ale, it's a beer. Um, 8% ABV, so whew, good strength. Amber colour. Taste is warm and well balanced. Temperature, 8 to 10 degrees. So, let's see. So, tonight I went to, for my second interview. And, you know with jobs, you know when you, you go to a job and you, and you weigh, weigh it up. And you think to yourself, no, uh, something's just not right. And uh, the job itself is okay, but the hours are crap. And uh, yeah, and what they want out of you for the for the money? I mean, I'm, I'd be on the same money as I am now, and yet they basically want me to be a bloody manager near enough. And I'm thinking, well, hold on a minute, put the bloody money up. So, yeah, amber pore, like it said, good lacing, a good carbonation of lacing, big white head. Looks to me more like a lager, like an amber lager. Oh, good whiff of alcohol on the nose. So, is it a beer? Is it a lager? Any one thing to do? Find out. Subtle multi nose, and when I say subtle, I mean subtle. Fiver for the privilege this was at Tesco's, and yet it was in their lager section. When is a lager not a lager? Yeah, because I got it off the same section. It'd been a, a real ale beer. It, it'd been in the other section. Like craft beers, they're in their own section. So it's got to be a lager. I know what they're saying here, but... Right. See, Beer Advocate, they're saying it's an English old style, old ale style beer. Let me have a look, see what the reviewers think, because other people's. Someone has put, not too sure about the classification, but where helps to put. I think it's a lager. It won't be in the lager section. Yeah, there's not enough reviews. It won't be the Tesco's would not put it in the lager section if it wasn't a lager. So it's a lager. Sort that one out, haven't we? Hey. Yeah. So I went for this interview today, and uh, just I couldn't get to the bloody place. The right place to get to. And then going around the block twice. I had to use my sat nav to get in. Couldn't figure I knew where it was, but I couldn't figure out how to get to it. And um Yeah, I went in. Uh, speaking to the chappy. Drove up to um garden, looking around this garden. And uh, this is where the ethos is different. They are quite happy to leave it all. They're happy to leave weeds. And uh, um, different style of gardening. Not to say that his is wrong or mine is wrong, but there's not so. 
the I don't know, I've been dictated to how to do how to do gardening because that throws me right out and uh, going back to the office they're yakking away and uh, the way you up I know they are and uh, by the time I got back to the office I'd already made my mind up I just wanted to get my paperwork and go and uh, hey ho a bit disappointed I don't know if you can see that in your tone uh, yeah, a bit disappointed because I'd, I'd built myself up that this was going to be something really interesting and exciting. And as it is, it's, just, it's not. So, um, move along to the next uh, job prospects, wherever they may be. And, uh, hmm. it's a funny old, uh, funny old world. I can see me moving out of the garden and doing some elves. What I'd really like to do is win the lottery. Get me own little van and then I can do gardening. So yeah, this is a strange beast. Obviously, if it's in the lager section, it's classed as a lager. Unless somebody at Tesco was, is wrong. But well, Bermoretti are calling it an ale. Is that because it's so strong? It reminds me of Peroni's Doppio Malto, which is quite a strong lager, a strong dark lager. And this to me is um, their version of that. So, yeah. Lager or not lager? That is the question. I mean, it looks, it's got the carbonation and lacing of lager. Um, I will class it as a lager because of the section it was in in Tesco's. Certainly not one, though. An odd one. It has characteristics of a beer in some ways as well. Hmm. I'm actually quite, uh, what's the word? Bums rattled. It's, uh, it's a strange one. Um, yes, it's got me buzzed. weather again was warm today. Oh. Although it looks like we're heading for a, a, a cooler spell and to be fair um, when it's been as hot as it has been just a few degrees lower makes such a difference. It makes working more enjoyable. And less people sat in your way. So, eight percent, good strength though. I mean, for a lager, that's a lovely strength. You're in that area of where Tenant Super and Carlsberg Special Brew are in. Um, but obviously, this is Italian. It's a little bit more refined than your. There we go. Let's put it there. I'm sort of in blending camera tonight. There we go. Smack where it should be. So yeah, five quid for the price. Um, probably worth it for that price, being an eight percenter. Um, I'll review it as a log because, as a real ale, if it was a, see the, the internet. And the classifications are strange because people on here don't even know what it's supposed to be. And Bill Moretti don't help matters by putting it as an ale. <laughs> so, and uh, please do comment if you have got a better idea of what it is than I have, or if everybody else is as confused as I am. Uh, yeah, different.
going down nicely though, can't fault it for that. Um, good taste. Oh dear. It's terrible when you build yourself up for something and you think this ticks all my boxes and it doesn't turn out to be like that and it's, uh, I've come home from doing this um, interview two and a quarter hours as well I'm not joking, I'm sitting there towards the end I'm thinking I just want to fucking go in there and I says, you, you, I've already read, you know, you read the signs I read the signs and um, I mean, the job I'm in, you know, it's not a perfect job but when it comes to jobs, you know, it's a better job than that job. That job, I think they'd want the blood out of you. And I'm, I'm all for working hard. You know, I love working hard. But working hard and then getting more and more put onto you. So you're doing their, their, the role of a manager, but not getting the manager's pay. Um, that I'm not having. At least I can have my week off my birthday now. I booked a five days off for my birthday, so there's going to be some celebrating. Oh, yes. Beer reviews galore. And the, beer, the beer wall will be forever changing. I need at some stage to do a, a check on the beer wall and see what's out of date and actually and, and get some of them reviewed first. But you know how you are. I like this one. I bought this from Tesco's and I thought, I've got to get that reviewed quick. Um, and then what happens is, every every, every um, beer hole that I get, there's always something that I like the look of. And I push that to the front and then other stuff gets left behind. And uh, yeah, it seems to be a thing for me. There's bound to be some beers here that are well out of date, but no, I can't win them all. And again, a woof of strength. It's more smoother than what a lager should be. But it definitely reminds me of the Peronius Doppio Molto. Um, it's, they're very two very close peas in the pod there. And if you've never had Peronius Doppio Molto and you're a lager fan, it is, for me, one of the definitions of a good lager. Um, beautiful, good strength, good strong malt flavour to it. And, um, in fact, it's as close to this as any other lager has been. Um, it's just at the classification for this. But obviously, if it's in the lager section, it's got to be a lager. You would think, unless somebody's dressed it in the wrong section. But no, because... It won't be just in the wrong section because they they work off a plan. I would know this being a work. I worked at Sainsbury's, and I've done layouts before. Um, that's that's when you know, like you got your plinths, your, your shelves, and uh, you have to set the shelves differently, and and you know change varieties and whatnot. Uh, happens every so often in, in all shops. Um, it's done to spruce it up sometimes or to get a load of new varieties in and to balance things where something sells fantastically well they'll make them shelves wider where stuff struggles they'll make that plinth smaller not always though because sometimes uh, companies will buy the space on the shelves and they'll have it that wide because they've bought that space and that's per store as well it's ridiculous it makes you wonder how much they actually make because if they're paying for that shelf, they've got to they've got to sell X amount of bottles before they're making anything. Yeah, just make you wonder. Oh. But anyway, enjoying the strength on that. That 8% is a, a tonic. A 
tonic to my uh, more of a deflated self. I was contemplating today, and they haven't told him that I'm not taking the job. So if they offer me the job, I'll, now I frankly don't give a shit. Uh, if I'm being brutally honest, and uh, I hope they don't watch my videos because they'll think, you know. But um, yeah, I've already made made up my mind. I don't want the job, but I won't contact him. I just won't. Um, you know, I just I won't bother uh, chasing it up. Um, let's see what's out there. Hold fire and uh, see what happens in the long term. If things happen for the good in, in the job I'm in, then I'm liable to stay and be happy. But this changes need to take place. And uh, when I get to speak to the, because we're a contractor, and then you've got the client, and uh, there's we have new contractors, new management basically, so we're getting two peed over. And uh, I will give them my brutally honest opinion on things. And uh, on where I want to see the job going for the long term. Because at the moment it's not going, it's not right. There's so much that could be done and can be done. But, but it isn't being done. Um, and if person in my skill set should be bringing colour, flowers and, you know, sustainable planting to the estate. Um, but unfortunately that doesn't look like it's on the horizon. Which is a shame because if it had been on the horizon, um, I can save a lot of money for where I am. Yeah. Bit, bit of a sombre bear review tonight. I'm not in my usual perky self. And uh, I drank way too much last night. Fucking, I got this morning, felt rough. Oh, so rough. And I won't do that again. It's not, it's this nemesis here behind me called apple juice wine. It's alright, but you drink one, then you drink another, and then you get a taste. And that's dangerous. And uh, I felt it this morning, I really did. And I don't feel like feeling that shit. Because, it, you know, you've had too much beer, it's not good for you. Oh. So, great malt taste, great strong alcohol taste. And bear in mind... This is stronger than your King Goblins, your McEwen's Champion Ale. Um, and many of my other top beers. Um, as a lager, it's smooth, it's not gassy. <laughs> oh, they put me back out then. Um, yeah, it's not gassy, it's... Um, it, it is what it is, it's, it's decent, you know. Um, it's just, it's just very different. It's, it's it, to me, it's, it's a lager on the verge of being a, a beer, but still got those lager elements to it. It's a real, um, it, like a hybrid. It's definitely a flipping lager, but it, it, some of it, some of the elements of it are so not lagerish. So, five pound, was it worth it? Yeah, um, it's strong, Jesus, eight percent. And you're getting a bottle and a half, basically. Um, I mean, it's like a wine, it's in a wine size bottle. Um, out of five then. So obviously dark malt on the nose, smell of alcohol on the nose, smooth all the way down, despite all that carbonation and lacing. Um, 
which lasted to the end. Lovely dark mould taste. And I've got to be honest, one of the better lagers that I've ever tasted. This to me is as good as Peroni's Doppia Molto. Um, and that's uh, it's either 6 or 7.4% one of the two. Um, yeah, a true class, classy lager that deserves to be that price, you know, in a fashion at least. <clears throat> but yeah, so, so different. Yes, the classification's a bit strange. Well, they call, even they call it a bloody ale, but then again, they call lager beer. So, but it's on the lager section in Tesco's, so we'll call it the lager. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I thought that was really, really nice. Now, for a real ale fan, um, some real ale drinkers might look at that and think, hmm. But no, if I'm being brutally honest, and going up against other real ales, I thought it was really good. Um, it's obviously a lager, so it, it adds an element to lager, that strength factor, and that puts it in, you know, pretty much, along with the Peroni's Doppia Malta, in a class of their own. You know, yes, you've got Carlsberg Special Brew and Tenant Super, but let's be fair, they, they're they just souped up lagers, whereas this has got that taste to go with it. Well worth a try. Out of five, for me, 4.55 out of five. I really like that, really nice. And it's cheered me up a little bit. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thanks you for subscribing. And cheers.